Hello everyone, Vita Z32 back again with another deck review, and this is the Gold Monarchs. And I'm sure you won't be seeing too many reviews of these. In fact, I know there's one other review. I was hoping to be the first, but it didn't happen. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. This is a type of deck that's pretty rare. Not a lot of people are going to be opening it. So not a lot of people are going to see what they look like. And there's not going to be a lot of reviews. But I'm reviewing it. And I should point out there is another deck that I refer to as the Gold Monarchs. It's the original Monarchs deck. Which has a blue and gold back design as opposed to the standard blue and white. And I guess I'll refer to that one as the original Monarchs. This is the official Gold Monarchs. The front of the tuck case. Lots of gold foil. Uh, and embossing. And even debossing it looks like. It says Monarchs. High quality playing cards. Uh, trying to focus on there. It's hard to see a little bit because of the gold on gold. What else does it see on there? It says, made in the United States of America right here. And, oh yes, and it says Excelsior right here. And lots of embossing throughout. Cool stuff. And I, you know, I think it says Excelsior right here. And I believe inside these circles it says Fury 11. But, it's actually really hard to read that writing. <laughs> On the side says high quality playing cards and produced by Fear 11, made in the United States of America. And then there's again a 11 down here, Fear 11. It's really hard to see this writing. Yes, it says Fear 11 quality down here. Lots of embossing as you can see, very nice. The other side says made in the United States of America. And again, there is a Logo here for Neighborhood Studio. That's who designed it. And there's a line up here, very nicely embossed. Top, you get the swords, which again are very nicely embossed. Bottom, barcode, says it's produced and distributed by 311. Las Vegas, I believe it is, and their 311 logo. And in the back, you see the back design. Which is pretty cool. The seal. The red stamp type seal of the crown. It says Esto Perpetue. Perpetuo. Ah, I can't even pronounce it. Which means, translates to, may you last forever. That's what it says there. On the flap, it says Circa Trova and more foil. And Circa Trova means seek and ye shall find. You can see how embossed it is right there. Pretty cool. Uh, let's get to the cards. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll end the video right there. Keep you waiting. Tune in next time. You'll see the cards. No, just kidding. <laughs> so, first of all, you get a Fear 11 ad card. It says, Playing cards designed by Fear 11. Fear 11 creates the world's finest playing cards. A perfect gift. An amazing piece of art. The ultimate high-end luxury playing cards. Fear11.com with their new logo, which is a T, and then an X and a 1 for 11. It's pretty cool, X and an I, I should say. Then you get this, which is the exact same freaking thing, which seems completely unnecessary. Except that it has a different logo, which has all sorts of Roman numerals around it. It says Fury 11 USA, trademark. But it says the exact same thing. Why not put in a double backer instead? I mean, that just seems completely unnecessary the back design is very sexy it's gold foil on black i think that's the first gold foil on black the only slight thing is there's some writing here along the edges it's in latin i don't know what it means i didn't check that one out because it's pretty hard to make it out anyway just because of the gold foil but it looks very nice and says in here read this as well it's just it's pretty cool very shiny the joker is just like the other decks joker in the corners in black it says the joker made in usa on the bottom 
and the guy in this big bicycle, kind of like a vintage USB-C Joker I've seen. Uh, the other Joker is exactly the same. The Ace of Spades has a crown in a spade that says trademark monarch playing cards made in the United States of America. And then the number of cards in the court cards are, you guessed it, completely standard. However, that's not going to be the case at the next, with uh, the uh, Union playing cards from 311 that I will be reviewing in the near future. But anyways, um, the court cards, as you see, are standard, but they do got gold coloring. This is nice. And obviously fits with the deck. That's that. Um, again, like I said, unnecessary to have two identical, or almost identical ad cards. They could at least say something different or whatever. I don't know. Alright. As far as the backs are concerned, yeah, it's just the same back as before. But the gold foil on the black looks very nice. I like it. Minor, you know, issue with the writing being a little bit hard to see just because it can't. I guess it's just, I don't know, just can't get it that detailed. Um, but it looks very nice. I will say. Four and a half out of five for the backs. Just because, you know, it's the same old, same old. And, you know, some of the stuff is a little bit hard to make out. Just because of the foil. But it's very nice. I like it. Four and a half out of five is a good rating anyway. Faces. Same old, same old. Wasn't expecting anything different. And they're usable, they're functional. I will say four and a quarter out of five for the faces. Just because, well, unnecessary duplicate ad card and... Mainly because, you know, it's just it's standard, I, you know, I, I can't say it's 5 out of 5 because that wouldn't be fair to, like, a, you know, a Jackson Robinson deck or something. Anyway, that is that. Um, Handling-wise, bicycle stock or better. Air cushion finish or better. Handles pretty good, a little bit of clumping, I'll say 4.5 out of 5 for handling. Overall, solid 4.5 out of 5. That's probably the best score you'll get for a Monarch deck. Um, I do have another one coming in the future. The second edition Red Monarchs, I decided to get one. I should have gotten it at the same time as these, but I didn't. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> but, nonetheless, it will be coming. We'll see that. But anyways, that's that. Let me know what you think. Check out CollectiblePointCards.com. Use the code VJSA32. Get 10% off your order. I say it a million times. So I hope people are listening and using it. That is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.